This Rapid Manner tutorial focuses on processing text. I have a database of job postings from a popular job board which I've dumped into an Excel spreadsheet. There's about 400 of them and I'm going to look at word frequencies in all the documents. For example, the word ability showed up in 96 of the documents 174 times. And also find things like phrases, for example full time and customer service. The way I'm going to do that is read the data from Excel and then use the nominal to text operator to convert the job posting information to text. With that set, I'll use the process documents from data operator and then strip out HTML, tokenize, lowercase everything, filter out stop words, generate n-grams and filter tokens. And I'm going to step through all those steps in this demo. We'll need to use operators from the text processing and web mining extensions to build this tutorial process. If you don't have these extensions installed, go to the marketplace in the extensions menu or on the web and install it from either location. Go through the installation steps and restart Rapid Miner when prompted. After installing, you'll now see a new folder of text processing and web mining operators in the extensions folder of the operators panel. Just a note here, the parameters panel shows a little graduation person icon and says show advanced parameters next to it. If you're missing any specific parameters or want to apply some expert settings, this is where you need to look. The first step is to read the data from the documents. We use the read Excel operator to import the data from our spreadsheet. And the nominal to text operator to convert the job posting information to text. This is an important step. We want to use the process documents from data operator for our pre-processing and it will ignore any attributes that are not text. Connect the text and connect the word output port to the results. Let's double click the process documents from data to go inside. I cleaned out most of the HTML during the crawling already, but since there's some HTML artifacts left, I'm going to extract the HTML using the web mining extension and the extract content operator. It strips out HTML from a document and leaves everything else. Then we tokenize to split the document into unique tokens, words in this example, It's generally a good idea to put everything in lowercase as well, or same case so that an uppercase work experience is going to be counted the same as lowercase work experience. Connect that. Going back to the process documents to data operators top level, I'm just going to turn off create word vector for now and add meta information and then set the prune method to absolute with two as the minimum and a large number as the maximum. This will just prune out or ignore words that only appear in one document. We'll keep all the other ones. Let's run that. I'll just sort by total occurrences. So we've got all these words here, and, to, the, in. Those are all very common words that we'll get rid of later. Then you've got experience and a fair number of other common words, but no phrases for now. If I go back to the process documents to data operator, we can use a filter stop words operator to filter out simple English words such as in, or, and, etc. that are not useful for analysis. We also want to filter out some of the other tokens. When you split on non-letters, you can split on apostrophes. So anything that's got an apostrophe S just leaves a bunch of single S's. So we can get rid of those as well. So I'll set the minimum characters to 2 and a big number for the maximum. Let's run that. Now we've got rid of all the stop words and single letters as well. You can see that work 
experience is very important in all these documents. Team, work, years and that sort of thing. It can also be useful to look for phrases. In Rapid Minor that's called engrams. Basically, an engram is a sequence of words. A two gram would be two tokens in a row and a three gram would be three tokens in a row. So if it's the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, then a three gram would be the quick brown and then the next three gram would be quick brown fox. It's now going to look for all the three grams. In Rapid Minor, it's actually set to look up not only all the three grams in the document, but also the one grams and two grams, which is convenient. Now it's generated all those. If we scroll down, we should find a couple of bigger grams. There's full time, customer service. These are all two grams so far. Communication skills, please send. Years experience. Please send resume. Now that's an example of a three gram. You can also generate character grams, which is useful for certain languages like Chinese, where a character is a whole word. You can also use character grams to find similar documents based on the character frequency, not necessarily the word frequency. The last thing we will talk about is stemming. Stemming basically gets rid of the suffix. A suffix is when you add a letter or group of letters to the end of a word to make a new word. For example, the word experience. There's a couple of different forms. There's experienced, experiences, experiencer. So it cuts down to the root. So experi would be the basic root. There's a few different stemming algorithms in Rapid Minor. Porter is the most common one for English, so let's use that. We've now turned it all into stemmed words. There's expiry, which represents all the different forms of experience. Posset will be position, will be please, require will be requirement. So you can see that work is now the number one word. So there's probably working, works and work before. So that's basic text processing with Rapid Minor. This concludes the tutorial on processing text in Rapid Minor.